This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar covering the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you a very cool framing technique using overlays in the Final Cut viewer. Another thing that's new in the view menu is this choice here called a custom overlay. What is this? Well, let's digress for a moment and switch over to Photoshop. This is an overlay that I created. It's a 16 by 9 horizontal image. It's got the middle bar, middle box, defines a 4 by 3 space. The center box defines a 1 by 1 aspect ratio. So I have high def, I've got standard def, and I've got square Instagram. What I've created, if I click on the layers panel, is I just have a single image with a transparent background, which means it has to be a layer, not a background. And I drew the lines in and I merged it all down so it's a single layer document, but a single layer with an alpha channel, with transparency. I then saved it as a PNG or TIFF, either one will work, and stored it at a convenient spot on my hard disk. Now when I go back to the view menu and go down to choose custom overlay, I add custom overlay. I navigate to where I stored that PNG or TIFF file and open it up. It now appears in the menu. I can have multiple different overlays. I can have one that's 4x3 and, and a square, another one which is, say, for the iPhone, 9x16. But I can select which overlay I want to use. There's no limit to the number of overlays that I have available. To turn the overlay on, go to the next menu up and show custom overlay. And now we can see this overlay. If I go back to the view menu, I can adjust it. I can say, show it to me at 100%, which to me is just a little bit too much in my face, or 50% or 25%, I'll make it 50%. This overlay is displayed in the viewer, but it does not export. For me, this is a very useful framing technique to make sure that I've got all of the essential actions saved. So if I need to create a version for the phone or a version for Instagram or a version for YouTube, I can make sure that that which framing that I need is available as, as I build the sequence in the first place. Turn off the overlay, go to view, and uncheck show custom overlay, and it's gone. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 292. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We've updated multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.